In this video, we are going to see how to generate images from form responses and save links to Google Sheets. So let's say that you want that every time there is a new submission through any form builder application. Here we have chosen Google Forms. So with the response that you have received, you want to generate certain images for which here we are going to use OpenAI which is an artificial intelligence and deployment company that helps you in creating human like content and generate images. Now once you have generated the image, you want that with the help of Bitly, you want to shorten the link and then finally this should be saved in your Google Sheet or any other spreadsheet. How can that be done? For this, you will have to integrate these applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. So here, your trigger application will be Google Forms and then your first action application will be OpenAI and then you will shorten the links with the help of Bitly and your final action application here will be Google Sheets. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. Now on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab sign up. It won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in and as I do that, here you can see we have reached the all apps page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect as we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software. Now here we have reached a dashboard. On the right hand side you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is to create images based on form responses and then save the same image link in Google Sheets. So I'm going to click on create. And as I do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens. Action says do this. Basically, action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, my trigger application will be Google Forms. Let's click on this. Now the trigger event. So here it would be new response received. So here we have received a webhook URL and then we are given a help list. So please read this carefully. Let me show you what you have to do. So first of all, I'm going to take you to my Google Forms and here I already have created a form. You can create your own form by clicking on this plus icon. So let me show you the form. So here the name of the form is image suggestion. And here we have got the following fields. First name, last name, contact number, email address department and image topic idea. So let's say that for the newsletters, you need certain images. Now what you want is you want random suggestions from your team. So here every time there is an image idea, you would want to generate images on the basis of that idea and then share the link in the same Google Sheet. So what I have to do is I have to go to step, this last step. Okay, and here you can see the required field. So I'm going to toggle this towards the right so that this can be turned on. This is important so that the moment this entire form is filled and you reach the last field, then automatically the response would be generated. Now here in Pabli Connect, we have received this webhook URL, right? So first of all, I'm going to copy this. Now going back to Google form, we are going to go to responses. And here you have three dots. Let's click on this. Now it is asking me to select destination for the responses. For this, either you can select an existing spreadsheet or you can create a new spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead with a new spreadsheet. Let's click on create. And now I'm going to view in sheets. Let's click on this. And here you can see that with all the fields, I have created a Google spreadsheet where we have all the fields that we had in our Google form, including one which is timestamp. This is going to register the date and time of the response received. I'm going to quickly format this a bit so that this is absolutely clear and visible to you. Okay, so once this is done, now we have to integrate this sheet with Pabli Connect. But before that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to preview the form and fill up this form as a test submission. So here, let's say the first name is demo, then the last name is dummy, then the contact number here is this, this is the contact number. Then we have the email address, which is demo dummy 
at pablitudes.com and then we have the department let's say the department is hr and now the image topic idea let's say the topic is sunsets okay i'm going to click on submit as soon as i do that here the response has been recorded let's go and check the google sheet so here you can see that we have received a response here now we have to integrate this google sheet with our public connect for that we have to go to extensions you can see add-ons let's go to get add-ons now here we have reached google workspace marketplace so here we are going to look for public connect webhooks so here it is and now you can see that this particular application has been already installed on my system now if you have not installed it please do the same and once you do this cross and refresh the page this is absolutely important and once we have refreshed we are going to wait for a few seconds and then we are again going to go back to extensions and you would be able to see public connect webhooks let's go to initial setup so now here you can see that the system has already selected the sheet so this webhook url that we had just received i'm going to copy this and here i'm going to paste the same so once done it is asking me for the trigger column so the trigger column is the final data column where the data is added and here you can see that in this particular sheet it is column g so i'm going to write g here let's click on send test and now here you can see that the test data has been sent successfully let's click on submit and the setup is all configured now i'm going to close this and going back to extensions here you can see send on event please make sure that you click on this so that you have a check sign in front of it so this is how it is going to appear and this is important so that the response can be sent to public connect now once this is done i'm going to take you back to public connect and here you can see that we have received the api response so this here is the trigger column then the name of the spreadsheet is here sheet name sheet id then we have the row index last name then we have the first name this is the topic idea email address department and contact number now once i have received this with this topic idea i want to generate images for that i'm going to use an artificial intelligence application which is open ai so let's look for the same here that is now the action event here would be to generate image let's click on connect as i do that here public connect is asking to connect itself with the open ai account let's click on add new connection and to set up this connection we need a token for this we are going to go to this hyperlink once we have logged into the open ai account so i already have logged in now i'm going to click on this so we are going to click on create new secret key and here the api key has been generated now i'm going to copy this go back to public connect and paste this over here so once done let's click on save to set up this connection now here we have to enter the prompt prompt is basically the instruction so i'm going to write here generate an image on the topic and now i'm going to map the topic how this is the previous step and as i take you down this is the image topic idea so generate an image on the topic sunsets and once i have done this here you have to enter the number of images to be generated the method with which i have added the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time the workflow runs it can take the new data into consideration so now i'm going to enter the number of images let's say it is 2 and then you have to enter the size let's say it is 512 by 512 i'm going to click on save and send test request and as i do that here you can see that we have received two separate urls so first let me show you the same so i'm going to copy this and open this in a new tab let's click on this and this is an image of sunset so now similarly let's go and check out the other image so i'm going to copy this as well paste and yes here you can see this is another image so now once i have received this so there is a thing that the image links that i have received this is literally long so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use another action application and this is bitly which helps us in shortening the links so i'm going to click on this and the action event here would be to shorten link let's click on connect so again public connect wants to connect with bitly account let's click on add new connection connect with bitly and here i have already logged into my bitly account and it is asking me to authorize pabli to use my account so let's click on allow so once this is done here you can see that the authorization has been successful so now let me show you the bitly account 
so this is my bitly account and i've already logged in and here you can see that the name is ashurai so the system has already selected the group now here i have to mention the long url for this i'm going to go to step two and this is the long url now i'm going to click on save and send test request and here you can see that i have received a small link right now i'm going to repeat the same process so i'm going to copy the step and now I'm going to paste the same step. So once I do that, here you can see that it has been copied. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the link. Let's go to OpenAI and this is the second link. I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here I have received the other link. Now what is my objective? So once I have received this link, I want to just update my Google Sheet with the same. So I'm going to take you back to the Google Sheet. And here I'm going to add another column which is image links. Okay, now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to choose my last action application which is Google Sheet. So here it is and the action event here would be to update cell value. Let's click on connect. So here we are going to go ahead with the existing connection because we have already set up the connection with this Google Sheets. And here once it is connected, let's select the spreadsheet. So it is image suggestion. Now the range. So you have to mention the range in this format, column name and row index. So here you can see what is the column name? It is H. So I'm going to mention H here and for row index, I'm going to go to step one and this here this is the row index. Now the value that has to be added. So I'm going to go to bit.ly. I'm going to go to bit.ly. So this here is the link. Then I'm going to enter and I'm going to add the other link as well. Okay. So once this is done, let's click on save and send test request. And here we have received the API response. Let's go and check our Google Sheet. And yes, here you can see that the links have been added. So this basically means that our integration is a complete success. But we also need to check the same in real time. So what we are going to do is we are going to go back to our Google form and submit another response. So let's say the first name here is strange. Then the last name is user. Then the contact number is this. And then we have the email address. So what is the email address here? Strange user at pablitudes.com. Then we have the department. Let's say it is finance. Then we have the image topic idea. So here we are talking about trees. Okay, let's click on submit. Now, as soon as I do that and my response has been recorded, first with the topic, images should get generated and then my Google Sheet should get updated with the links, the shortened links. So let's go back to our Google Sheet. And yes, here you can see that we have received the response. So I'm going to copy this link here and open this in a new tab. And here you can see that we have received an image of a tree. So this basically means that our integration is a complete success. Going back to Pabli Connect, let's quickly understand what we have done. So here our trigger application is Google Forms where the event is new response received. Then our first action application is OpenAI where we have generated the images. Then our second action application is Bitly which we have used to shorten the link. And our final action application here is Google Sheets where we have updated the cell value. I hope that you are absolutely clear with this. If in in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.